You may not have known it, but nearly 40 years ago, the Americans stormed the French at Versailles, toppling the snobs, a kind of French royalty. In fact, someone called it a prize fight with high heels instead of boxing gloves. And the secret? A group of women who were championing equality and so much more. Vicki Mabry explains. You might think this was just a fashion show unless you knew what was at stake. The unassailable French were the kings of fashion. They had no time for American upstarts. It was a show that was bound for disaster. The French, with their elaborate show and stuffy models, were certain of victory. Through a series of mishaps, the Americans had a bare stage, but they had a secret weapon in the wings. As the music of the Love Unlimited Orchestra began to play, eight African-American girls stepped onto the stage with a head-to-toe fierceness never seen before. I walked with spirit. I really walked from inside. I walked like I defied the French. I walked like they are going down. We were over there to storm the gates. I was a part of a fairy tale. Shocking for the French, show-stopping for the Americans. These young women had just put fashion designers like Oscar de la Renta and Halston on the map. They start to stomp, and they start to cheer, they start to throw the programs in the air, and they start saying, bravo, bravo. And we came out with all that says and pizzazz, and that just floored everybody. That fairy tale night led to more catwalks and fashion spreads and magazine covers. Black was beautiful at last. At the Metropolitan Museum of Art this week, the women and men who tasted victory that night reunited for the first time in decades. There was Alva and Pat and Billy. Billy! It's so wonderful to see you though. She was the star of my show. And of course, Oscar and his girls. It was divine. I was part of a beautiful group, and it was like we planted our flag, the flag of American fashion. It was a night that changed the face and color of fashion the world over forever. Vicki Mabry, ABC News, New York.